Hi friends, in today's tutorial, we'll study how to create pivot table from multiple sheets in Excel. So here you can see we are having two sheets. First sheet is data store one and second sheet is data store. In data store one, the column headings are transaction number, date, department, quantity, and sales amount. So we have one, two, three, four, and five columns. In data store 2 also we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 columns. However, the orders of column names are different. In data store 1, the first column name is transaction number. In data store 2, the first column name is date. In data store 1, the second column is date. In data store 2, the second column is transaction. So the order of the column numbers is different in both the uh, worksheet. However, the headings are the same. Now remember we are in data store 2. First thing we we'll do is we we'll convert this into a table. So we we'll press Ctrl T for, sure for creating a table and we'll select OK. We'll give the table the name as store 2. And we'll hit enter and we'll change the formatting to Larit. Then we come to data store one. Again, we press control T. We'll click on OK. We change the table name to store one and we'll hit enter and change the formatting to Larit. Remember, we are now in data store one. Now we click in the menu in the data tab and in get and transform data. Here we select from table range. So this will start the power query editor and it will load the current worksheet that is data store one will get loaded. So you can see store one data has got loaded. And over here, you can see in the date column, it is showing you date and time. So we click on this change data type and change it to date. Do you want to replace the current? You we'll select replace current. So now you can see it in state. So this is correct. Department is text is correct. Quantity is numeric is correct. And sales amount is also numeric, it is correct. Now, if we click on the earlier step, you will see this is a command of Excel to load store one. So, what we'll do, we'll duplicate that command by selecting duplicate and we'll click on the second table, click on stores and change the store name from store one to store 2 and hit end. We also change the name of the table to store 2. So now this is data from store 2. So date is correct data type, transaction number is numeric, department is text, sales amount is numeric and quantity is numeric. This is all. Now we want to establish a relation. So we select close and load to. Now one dialog box will come in that it will ask us what you want to do. So I want to only create the connection. So I'll click on OK and the connection will be created. Now I'll double click on any of these tables to launch the Power Query Editor. Now I want to create a new table which will be uh, the total of all the records from Store 1 and Store 2. So it will contain all records from Store 1 and all records from Store 2. So we'll have to create a query 
and that query is called as a append query. So we click on append queries and we'll select append queries as new. Now here it will ask me do you want to create from two tables or three or more tables. So we want to create two tables. First table name is store one. Second table name is store two. And we click on OK. So notice over here one new table is created called as append. And it contains all the records from store one and store two. Now once we have got this, we can go into close and load to. And this time when the dialog box comes, we we'll select that I want to make a pivot table report. I will click on OK. And now we are into pivot table and we see the table name. Now what I want, uh, if I want the sum of quantity from both the tables, so I get it over here. The sum of sales amount from both the tables, I get over here. The sum of transaction amount, I get it over here. Now what if I want store wise, store one, sum of quantity, sum of transaction, sum of sales, store two, we want the similar data. So for this, we'll make one change. We'll click on data store one and we'll click on double click on any of these tables. This will take us into the Power Query Editor. Now remember we are in store one. So we'll add one column. So we click on add column and we'll select custom column. We we'll give that custom column the name as store and the contents for that we will type in quotation mark store 1 and then we we'll click on OK. So you will see one column gets created called as store 1. Now same way we go to store 2 and we go into add column and we select custom column here we'll give the name as store and we'll change the contents to store 2 and we'll click on ok so second table also the column has got updated let us go into append and in append you will see that there is a column called as store which contains data of store 1 and store 2. So again we'll click on 5 and we'll select close and load. We'll come back to our pivot table and over here we'll right click and we'll select refresh. So you'll mm -hmm. see one column gets added called as store I'll move it to filters. Now if I want to see data from store 1, I'll click on store 1. If I want to see data from store 2, I'll click on store 2. If I want to see data from both the stores, I'll select all. So friends, in this video, we have seen how to create a pivot table from multiple sheets in Excel. Hope you have learned something new. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you again in the next video. In that time, goodbye.